A poet laureate is a poet officially appointed by a government entity to compose poems for state occasions. And the city of Albuquerque commissioned local poet Hakeem Bellamy to write the official poem for the New Mexico Centennial Celebration, which he delivered on the main stage at the Summerfest Centennial. And we are so happy to have you back. Kristen mm -hmm. has been raving about you since yeah, that day. Thank you so much, Everybody Hakeem. Everybody was blown away. Yeah. It it's, was a good feeling. It's wonderful <laughs> to have you. Let's, let's find out a little bit about when you became interested in the first place in poetry. Wow. So uh, I'm originally from New Jersey. Me too. Yeah, right on. So right girl, yeah, we'll we got to talk. That. We got to talk. But um, <laughs> but you, so it was intimidating mm -hmm. when I was asked to do it and really try to capture my feelings about New Mexico sure. over a hundred years when I've only been alive 34 and not <laughs> not the most of those here. But um, but I saw a lot of counsel from the centennial poet Levi Romero and okay. some other poets in the community, um, Damien Flores, uh, just people that I respect and I respect them as historians. Mm. And uh, they kind of pointed me in a direction of things that I should research and, and nice. people I should talk to. They said you should have conversations with your with your elders in this community. Yes. And, uh, yeah. and just did a lot of that until it hit me, until like the, the, the words overwhelmed me and came oh. out. So. You know, you really made a connection. I, I, I will never believe it. There was this whole crowd of people and, uh, you know, it was like, oh, you know, and sometimes they can get distracted, but mm -hmm. you, every single one of them was just like totally connecting with everything you said wow. in that poem. It was amazing. How do you do it? Explain the process of writing a poem. So I think a, lo a lot of people, not you very uh, accomplished and intelligent women, but I think a lot of people assume that it's, it's, uh, it's like lightning striking, mm -hmm. but, or even bottling lightning, but I, to me the process is more like trying to create lightning, mm. which is way harder. <laughs> yes, e Even if you're a Harry Potter fan, even if you're into like, <laughs> you know, right. uh, Mortal Kombat, you know, sure. all that good stuff, <laughs> Storm from X-Men, but, but it is, it's, 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 you, it's something that you develop, it's a process yeah. you develop, but it's a process of listening mm. and a process of observing, and if you can get that part down, then um, the other part kind of comes in my opinion. That makes so. a lot of sense. How did they choose you specifically to write the poem for the centennial? Well that's that's odd and and so I, um, I think many people assume that because I became the poet laureate in April that uh -huh. the poet laureate was already slated to do the centennial poem okay. but because of uh, my former position I used to work with the state of New Mexico for a while oh, and nice. through that position um, when when the mayor's transitioned when it transitioned from Mayor Chavez to Mayor Barry mm -hmm. our office actually had a really close working relationship with the city of Albuquerque okay. and and Mayor Barry knew me from then and Got so he, they, the city actually approached me sometime in January February to be part of the centennial celebration it just so happened that when I became poet laureate we, we the conversation was already going right, about right. what I was gonna write and uh, so I had a lot of time we're so lucky. glad you did yeah. right. so glad you did and uh, of course it's a really long amazing poem that you read at the centennial will you read us an excerpt from it right I now? will Would you please I will oh, I'm generally long-winded so that that's okay that you excerpted me <laughs> <laughs> well we're we're looking forward to it. Okay, so. 100 Years of Corridos, a song for the New Mexico Centennial. In the first chapter of the Gospel according to Anaya, Rudolfo writes, all of the older people spoke only Spanish, and I myself understood only Spanish and English. Bienvenidos, Albuquerque. I myself understand only English in Diné. We speak many languages but mean the same thing and mañana will be more of the same. Familia, food, fiesta, forever. Come on and sing along. We're going to familia, comida, fiesta, forever. For 100 years B.C., before Commodores, before Lionel Richie, and for 100 years more, we farmed, feasted, and fixed cars. We've moved people and mixed razas. We've got an appointment with the curandera as soon as we leave the doctors. A lust for livestock like chupacabras, afraid of God and the inexplicable dinosaur fossils, so in love with space and the people who live there that we speak Chewbacca. The 47th state admitted to the Union, we might have well have been the moon of Endor to our forefathers. A little bit. Oh my God! Please don't yeah. stop. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, Hakeem, amazing! Oh, I love your style so much. Thanks so much. And and it's, there's so much meaning. There's so mm -hmm. much importance. There's so much history, culture, and yet 
you combine it with pop culture and you make it something everybody can relate to. And I want to tell everybody that we are going to post this poem in its entirety on our website, casa.com. You have to listen to it yes. in its entirety. And again, we're so excited to have you on this morning uh, to kind of talk about things because I got chills just me then. Too. It was just, you know, and a lot of people felt that way too yeah. when, you, when you gave it at this centennial. Now, you are a published poet and your mm -hmm. work has even appeared in Albuquerque's inner city buses. How, how did that come about? Yeah, how did that happen? Well, in 2005, when I was on the City Slam team and uh, I was part of a team that had a very magical summer and that's the year we won the National Poetry Slam. Oh. It's best described as kind of like the NCAA tournament of, mm -hmm. poetry. of poetry. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and it was here in, in Albuquerque. Nice. And shortly after that, the, 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 one of the major organizations that was a big part of making that summer happen mm -hmm. was the National Hispanic Cultural Center. Okay. Uh, we had a lot of rehearsals there um, in the run-up to National Poetry Slam. And they were facilitating a program, uh, a good friend and poet and poetry organizer, um, uh, Michaela J. Renz, was part of a program that was, a, was accepting submissions for okay. poems to actually be posted on panels, unused advertising panels pretty sure. much, in right. city buses. That and, is uh, so cool. That was like one of the first times I actually got published, really. That's wow. fabulous. Well, and something I love to talk about is the fact that you're also making music with your poetry. We already got a little sample of how good his voice is. But tell us a little bit about your work as a songwriter. Man, so that's that's where I've been having kind of most fun lately. Yeah. And I think it's I just because it puts, you in, it puts you, you as a writer, it puts you in front of a larger audience. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the challenge of still having a really dense content yeah. but mm -hmm. making it more appealing to a larger audience is yes. something that I you know I find intriguing but um, I've been able to work with a lot of fabulous musicians in Albuquerque um, and I have a musical background that goes back to my mom forcing me to take piano lessons <laughs> so it just kind of was a, a natural fit I've always approached right. approach poetry from poetry excuse me from a yeah. musical perspective and people heard me do what I do on stages a cappella and were like hey did you ever think of doing music? And I was like, of course I thought I of doing music. And yeah, and yeah. you actually have a long list of well-deserved mm -hmm. honors and awards, including, I want to say, he's got a two-time national championship, as he mentioned, in the poetry slam scene, and on a local level, named Best Poet two years in a row on Local IQ's Smart List and also Albuquerque's Best Of. So, I mean, this is amazing. You're obviously, you're getting recognized, and I know a lot of our viewers want to know how they can continue to catch up with you. Sure, yeah, you can find me at Hakeem B, but my last name's Bellamy, so the first two letters are B-E, so it's HakeemB.com, and uh, all the upcoming events and ways to contact me are there. Fabulous. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, thank you for making, thank yes. you for giving us the push to get him here. We're so happy you were here. It's been such yeah. a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. It. Well, still ahead on the Mexico style treatments for thyroid disorders. Keep it right here.